Hey, welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a company that uh, I really like. I do have some stock purchased in this company. Um, it's called Gardent Health. G-U-A-R-D-A-N-T. Gardent Health. And what do they do? Well, Gardent Health is, uh, right now at least, about uh, diagnosing cancers. Um, what they have is some proprietary blood tests that help uh, your oncologist know exactly what subtype of cancer uh, a patient has. Uh, so you can see here that they had a test that's now FDA approved called the Garden 360 CDX, uh, and it helps uh, find uh, profiling um, tumor mutations in cancer cells. Well, why is that important? Uh, why is this company uh, ready to just take off, in my opinion? To understand the significance of this company, I think it's uh, worthwhile to talk about what it takes to uh, diagnose cancer. Traditionally, that's been done by biopsy. Once um, an abnormal organ has been discovered, generally you go for some type of biopsy. Uh, this is just a nice little graphic from the Mayo Foundation that shows somebody having a kidney biopsy. So think about what goes into this. You uh, are going to have to take the day off work probably. Before then, you're, you might have to do a history and physical, somebody asking lots of questions. You may be taking medicines that need to be stopped several days in advance, which certainly can cause some anxiety and possibly some side effects. Then on the day of the procedure, you're going to have to stop eating probably for at least several hours beforehand and possibly uh, midnight at the day of the procedure. You go into your uh, doctor's office, you go through a lot of preparation to have this done, they clean up your skin, they place all these sterile drapes and uh, put on sterile gloves and get out this sterile equipment, and then uh, you know they're going to numb this up and uh, stick a needle in there. Afterwards, uh, you may have some limitations on what you can and can't do and when you can restart your medicines, and of course you may have some pain or discomfort, and then you may have some complications. All of this goes into a traditional biopsy. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, this is an ultrasound setup that they have, but the picture over here looks nothing like an ultrasound. That's more like what a CT uh, picture looks like, but that's okay. Now, imagine instead of having to do all of this, you go in for a simple blood test. That's where Gardent Health comes in. A simple blood draw helps cancer patients get the right drug. Well, how might that work? So this is a nice little graphic that helps explain the, some of the importance of uh, Gardent Health and what they do. This is not a graphic from Gardent Health, by the way. So imagine you have a cancer cell, this little purple one over here. Well, uh, there's some mutation that takes place, so now you, in addition to all the purple ones, you get a green one and a blue one. And then eventually all these cells start multiplying, so you have lots of different subtypes of tumor cells. Well, certain medications may be more effective on one type than on another. That's where Garden Health steps in. Their unique blood tests help identify the subtypes of these uh, different cancer cells. Uh, and once those subtypes can be identified, well then they can target the right medicine. All from a simple blood test. Let's talk a little bit more about Garden Health. This is from their website. You can see that uh, they're sort of doing a three-pronged approach. They have treatment selection. These are people who already have known cancer and we're trying to figure out what's the best treatment. They're working on this one, recurrence detection, so that uh, once your cancer has been treated, can you have a blood test that will help know if your cancer has returned? Man, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? They're also doing a study right now in this early detection arm having to do with colon cancer. Uh, they're having people enrolled, up to 10,000 people, who will get the blood test and have a colonoscopy. And then the people who have a cancer seen on colonoscopy, they'll be able to see if on the blood test, if their uh, cancer showed up there and whether their test is effective at diagnosing cancer. Can you imagine not having to go in for a colonoscopy anymore, but just having a blood test? 
I've had a colonoscopy. It's not a terrible thing. But again, there's a lot of preparation that goes into having that, including a liquid diet. Let's talk about the financial end of this company. So this is the latest SEC filing uh, at the end of uh, June uh, that Garden Health submitted to the SEC. Uh, this is the one that shows their revenue and their losses, the profit and loss statement, some people would call this. Uh, let's compare years. So 2019, oh, by the way, this is in thousands, so this becomes seven million. This would become 11 million uh, dollars. Uh, so in 2019, seven million dollars of revenue in the first six months. In 2020, they're up to $11 million of revenue in the first six months. So that's a really nice increase there. And then we go down to, let's just look at the bottom line here, net loss. So you can see their net loss has gone up. It was $32 million, or excuse me, $3.2 million uh, in the first six months last year, and it's gone up to $8.1 million. So a significant increase. But if we go up here to uh, research and development, you can see that they have uh, significantly increased their research and development expenses. That's nice to see, a company that's hopefully working on new products. You can see that the cost of their um, oncology testing uh, went up. Um, I would assume that that is because they're doing more testing and thus creating more kits, and not that the actual cost of each uh, kit went up. One uh, other area where they're uh, losing money, you can see that uh, the general administrative expenses certainly doubled essentially during those six months. So the company isn't making money yet, but uh, the premise for their business model, being able to use a blood test rather than uh, having to go through some expensive or time-consuming or uh, painful or uh, you name it, um, biopsy, in order to um, better treat cancer patients, I think is a fantastic thing. And I personally think that patients will love it once it's uh, proven to work. And they already have one that has been FDA approved. That's just about it for Garden Health. Let's quickly just look at how their stock has been doing. Uh, you can see that if you purchase it way back here in 2018, so less than two years ago, it was running at $29.20 a share. You can see how over the years it's kind of gone up and down, up and down, but the trend certainly has been up. And uh, they closed uh, on the 25th. I guess they haven't closed quite yet. Uh, on the 25th, $111.78. So a very nice return on your investment over the last two years if you got in on it a long time ago. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, I'm not telling you to rush out and buy this because I want the stock price to go up. In fact, if uh, you do and the stock price goes up, then it's going to cost me more uh, to buy more of this as well. But I'm excited about it, and I hope you will too, especially if it makes one of these nice little dips that we've seen uh, in the recent past. That's it. Talk to you later.